Hello, Mark. Hi, Good evening. Hi, Jessica. Yes. So, can you hear me well? Yes. Okay, very good. Um, how are you today, Mark? Um, are you feeling good? Yeah. Okay, that's good to know, Mark. So today, we're going to continue our lesson in Unit 1A, Solution Pre-Intermediate. We are now in Task 15. I want you to complete the sentences using the past simple and the words below. Mm -hmm. You can uh -huh. add your ideas, your own ideas. For example, number one, I dropped my phone and it broke. Okay, so for this one, Mark, you can uh, write on my screen like this one. You can control my screen and write like this so that I can see your answer, okay? My dad dance my birthday boy.一点的控制他屏幕干什么？他自己都用不了了。就是我用啊，我让你回答问题是吧？打呀，没带。哎，卡了卡了卡了。My birthday party. Mm -hmm. Oh, my dad was down, down at my birthday party. Okay, my dad. Oh, no, that. What's your answer? My dad <clears throat> was down like that. at my birthday party. Okay, let's check your answer. My dad danced at my birthday party. Okay, my dad danced in my birthday party. No was. How about number three? <clears throat> My favorite food for the protein love weekend. My favorite food for what's your what's what is the spelling of loss? Loss sugar. Um L O S E Yeah, I talk. Lost at last week. Lost okay, what is the spell the spelling lost of lost? L O S E D S E D Oh was lost. Teacher just lost. Uh, was lost at like the at at the last weekend. Okay, is this your final answer? Look at the spelling. My favorite football team was lost at the last weekend. Is this your final answer? Yes. Okay, so the answer is. My favorite put football team lost at mm -hmm. the weekend. Okay, what about number four? 
I get a few marks. Marks somewhere. English exam. Marks. Mark. Get a few marks. English exam. Get a few marks. So what's your answer? Okay. Oh. Get one. Get get four. Zoom uh, please take note to use the passive oh. words. Passive I get a few marks at I get a few marks at uh, English MX. I get I one. get a few marks. Um, I get a few marks. This one? I get I get few marks. I get full marks, no ah. Uh. This one? Yes. Let's check. This is got. We use got because it already happened in the past. Past simple. Okay? Past simple. Not get, but oh. got. Okay, what about yes. number five? I saw a car crash. Uh, I saw a car crash to turn counter. Okay, I think you got it right. I saw a car crash in the town center. For this one, you got one out of five. That is okay. Better luck in our next slide so here i want you uh to listen to teacher so we use how plus adjective we often react to to things we hear or see with how or adjective for example how boring how wonderful so now i want you to listen to every sentences and you apply to react. For example, I dropped my phone and it broke. How awful. Okay, so again, you're going to react, Mark. So I dropped my phone and it broke. Um, what would be your reaction? And it broke. What is your reaction? That is how. Broke that means damage or destroyed. So how will you react, Mark? What's your reaction? What would be your reaction? I broke my phone. I dropped my phone and it broke. Uh, 
Okay, that is how oh. awful. Oh, how about number two? How boring. Okay. How boring? I... boring? Yeah. How um, boring? Yeah. I think it is how awful. Yeah. Hmm? How awful. awful. Yes, awful means bad. How bad? Or I feel bad because you broke your phone like that. What about number two? What is your reaction? Uh -huh. My dad danced in my birthday party. My dad danced in mm -hmm. my birthday party. How amazing. Okay, how amazing. Very good. Number three, my favorite football team lost at the weekend. So she... So what's your um reaction? My favorite football team lose at the weekend. Anti anti climax. How? Um. How? How bad? How bad? Okay. Well, number four. I got full marks in English exam. Oh, what would be your answer? How happy. How happy or how wonderful. Number five, I saw a car crash in the town center. Oh. I saw a car crash in the town center. What would be your answer? Or what would be your reaction? Okay. What would be your reaction? It's misfortune. What? How misfortune. Yes, how misfortunate. Misfortune. Yes, this one. How miss fortunate? Fortunate. How miss fortunate? Okay, great job, Kim. So since we're done with this one, let's proceed with another unit. That is unit one B. It's about. I think it's all about grammar. 
Yeah, so here it is. Wait me a minute. This is 4B. Okay, so I want you to answer my question. Is there a lottery in your town? Do you know lottery? Yeah. Okay, so when you say lottery, it is an event or situation in which what happens is decided by luck or chance or a way of raising money for a government. Raising money for a government. So is, okay, is there a lottery in your country, Mark? No. No. Okay, so do you think it is a good idea to buy tickets for lottery? You, you know, Mark, when you join lottery, you will buy ticket for one dollar. Then, if you are lucky to win the lottery, you will get one billion dollars. Okay, so do you think it is a good idea to buy tickets from lottery? What do you think, Mark? Do you think it's a good idea to buy ticket? Good idea to buy ticket. You know how to use that type of smart. What do you think? What tickets have? Tickets are um bought in the lottery or from the lottery. What do you think? What do I think? What ticket? Ticket is just like a bus ticket when you ride a bus, airplane ticket, train ticket, movie, cinema ticket, like that. Do you think it is a good idea to buy a ticket? Which one ticket? Okay, like lottery ticket. Lottery ticket. Do you think it is um, a good idea to buy lottery ticket? Yes. Yes. Okay. So here, why, why do you think that it is a good idea to buy ticket? Um, because... I don't know, but I just think it's good. Okay, that's it. So thank you so much for answering my question, Mark. Since it's already time, we will just end here. Do you have any question? No. Okay, so don't forget to answer your homework if you're done. Are you done doing your homework? No. Okay, so just continue to... Answer that one mark. So thank you and see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye.